Hello everybody, Nathan 904 here, and today I'm back with another story time, and I'm very excited because this story is really awesome, and I think that you guys will really enjoy it, and kind of to get into it, uh, it's not really much of a story as much as it's about someone that I met, and with most of these, sto with most of these stories that I do, they're not really going to be much of stories, they're mostly just uh, stories of people that I met in high school or middle school. And that's what I got with you for you today. Um, my boy Will, not his name, but I don't really want to say his name because if he ever watches this video, then L's will be taken. But um, my boy Will, let's just kind of get into him. I met him around sophomore year. I think it might have been freshman or sophomore year. I think it was sophomore year. And, um, you know, he, uh, he was a strange fella. Let's just put it like that. I've met a lot of weird people at my high school, but I will say that he may take the cake. I don't know for sure if he does, but he's definitely, you know, he's definitely a good choice for one of the most strange kids I've ever met in my life. But, um, kind of just to get into him, you know, he, uh, you know, kind of like me, uh, but even more, you know, me, but on drugs, he, li he liked to tell lies, you know, I could tell, and he told a lot of them, and, but he tried to get people to believe that they were truth, and, you know, some of the stories he would tell, um, such as he uh, robbed a convenience store because he wanted to get some gummy bears and some jewel pods. And because of this, he was caught and he had to go to juvie and he's back at a juvie now and now he goes to the school. Um, and, you know, you could say, yeah, could, you could believe it, but uh, he has no proof of it because when we asked him, he's been, he's told many things. He said that it was an armed robbery while he also said to other people that it was not an armed robbery. Um, a lot of uh, holes in his story. Um, so that's, that's that's story number one. But you may think, okay, that, that's not too crazy. You know, so that's just the way he is, you know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is true. But we'll, we'll get into more crazy stories. And, and here, I'll go with this one next. He said that when he was in third grade, he was doing uh, marijuana or some sort of drug in the bathroom. And um, so, some teacher or someone caught him. And he was running and he was trying to run away from them and they called the FBI on him and he was running up, he was running up on the uh, rooftop uh, trying to run away and so he was running on the roof and they got uh, the FBI and the FBI was chasing him on the roof and they also had a helicopter watching the whole thing, recording the whole thing. Uh, in third grade, mind you, in third grade doing drugs and they called the FBI. And uh, I don't, he never said the end of that story, funnily enough. He never did, probably because no one believed it because it was really stupid and ridiculous. And um, yeah, and he said it seriously. That's, that's the thing I love about it. it. It wasn't like a, you know, good old joke. It was, he was being serious. And um, yeah, so, you know, he likes to rob stores. He likes to do drugs in third grade, you know. How, how can you go wrong with someone like this? How could you go wrong? Uh, he was, he was a legend. He was a legend. And um what was really funny was my friend Adam, who I have talked about before on this channel, believe it or not, he believed every story that he told, <laughs> just like he believed every story that I told. Not that that is that crazy, because, you know, Adam believes everything that he's been told, but uh, it's just still funny to, that he would believe a story like uh, being on third grade, running from the FBI. And so, yeah, uh, your boy Will, he has a lot of, uh, he has a lot of trouble with the law. And, um, you know, now, you know, so he, he has all these stories he tells you. Um, but what was really funny is just the, the way that he would act, you know, the, all the little things, you know, so to speak. Uh, what was really funny is he, when I had him in class, he would uh, literally just start rapping. You know, I don't even know, you know, sometimes it was stuff he made up. Sometimes it was, you know, just a rap verse that he heard from a song. Uh, he would literally just like do that uh, kind of quietly, you know, under uh, his breath, you know, like going on you with the pick and roll, young flame, he in sickle mode. Like he would just go on like all class doing that. It was really funny. I'm really surprised no one uh, saw it or noticed it, unless people did and they just did not care. Um, and, you know, as for the whole stories thing, I'm not really, uh, you know, people will tell stupid stories, but what gets me is the fact that he's telling these stories in uh, sophomore, junior year, like he is almost an adult and he still is telling these stories to people, trying to get them to believe it. Like that's the part that is uh, very funny to me. Um, but yeah, your boy be rapping in class, you know, you gotta stay entertained, you know how it is. And, um, you know, some other stuff he would do, uh, it was just, the thing that I love the most about him though is 
the way he acted in front of students as opposed to the way he acted with teachers, you know? Because he tried to be, you know, he tried to be chill. He wasn't a distraction in the class, you know? He tried to, you know, get on the teacher's good side, you know? He would, I remember, you know, with the classes I had him, he would always talk to the teacher and they'd have a chill conversation, you know? Like, hey, how's your day? Going good, you know? Uh, you know, how do you like teaching as your job? You know, he, he was he was nice. He was friendly with the teachers, I will say. But then compare that to how he talks to, you know, me, for example, because I was kind of friends with them, not so much so, but we weren't like really close friends, but you know, we still, we, we hung out at lunch, you know, we, we talked with each other. And um, I remember one time in particular in physics class, uh, he was, you know, he literally got off of talking with the teacher, you know, he was just asking him, you know, about uh, how, how his job is teaching and, you know, how long he's been teaching and all that. And then after he, you know, cause he was talking to him, you know, at his desk after that, you know, he, he got walks back to my table and the first thing he says to me after having that, you know, pretty cool conversation with the teacher is he says, do you know that people can uh, come without even touching their cock? I was like, Will, Will, are you serious right now? You literally just had a normal, you know, human conversation. And then you come over to me and that's the conversation you have. And so then I just, you know, was like, what are you saying? Like, are you on drugs? Are you doing that marijuana that you did in third grade? And he was just like, what, well, man, it's true. It's a true story. You didn't know, like, you could do that. I was like, you know, he's, uh, he was annoying, but he, he was overall, he was really funny. And looking back on it now, he's really funny. And um, the funny story, the, uh, the the greatest part of it all is uh, I still see this person. Uh, he goes to the, I work at a convenience store and he, uh, I've seen him at the convenience store and recently at that. And um, so, yeah, I mean, that's really it. Uh, Will is, well, he's a character. He's a character, you know? And um, if you ever see this man on the streets, uh, you know, try not to talk to him. <laughs> try not to talk to him. If you do, then you'll just hear some awesome stories and you'll hear some rapping, hear some bars. Um, but that's pretty much the story, you know, not short and sweet, not too much. You know, just felt like I should talk about my boy Will because uh, he had a big influence on my life. Just kidding. But um, yeah, so thank you guys for listening to me rant about Will and uh, have a good day.